Hello, and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. I'm Brendan, and here with Luke. Hello! And Jonathan. Hello. This video is sponsored by San Pellegrino Limonata. Sure. So, uh, what have you guys been playing for the last week? Well, I've been playing Risk of Rain and uh, some some Minecraft still, you know. Oh, and uh, Auto Chess. That's another one. I have been playing Kingdom Hearts 3 and Mario Maker 2. It's a great game. I finally started The Last of Us. Uh, which is a game I didn't really give a shit about and probably will continue to not give a shit about as yeah, I progress I, through it. I, listen, it is just... The game... We can talk about this in a little bit. Well, I don't want spoilers for it, though, so... Yeah, it's not a spoiler. I'm just saying the well, gameplay the itself is rather... Okay, kind of that's great. The game's been out for a while. I still don't want spoilers for it. No, no, no I don't know, like... Listen, I'm talking about the gameplay. I just think the gameplay really isn't as good as it was kind of advertised to be. How do I shoot? Uh, it depends on what you're using. But yeah, Last of Us what? and uh, Red Dead are the two that like I just couldn't bring myself to give a fuck about. Listen, I really liked Red Dead, like story-wise and everything, but the the gameplay was just terrible. It's another situation where I was like, fuck, the gameplay is real bad. I can deal with bad gameplay though. I played all the Dragon Age games. Yeah, but Dragon Age has like something to look forward to. It's got a good well, story. Was you started the boss already? No. Except for Dragon Age 2, you completing that is completely on you. <laughs> it's whatever. I probably liked Inquisition the best. Really? So like, you're like a big normie? Is that what you're saying? So, the reason is... I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'd be hard pressed to play, to say the first is my favorite just because it's kind of like really clunky and Inquisition at least smooths out a little bit of that. Yeah, Story-wise, the, the first is way better. Yeah, the first one is uh, far and away the best, for sure. And I agree that the first one's uh, gameplay is, it's overrated as hell. Like, it's not as good as what anyone claims it to be, ever. Yeah. And I don't mean necessarily that the gameplay is, like, horrendous. No, yeah, it's just I like, found it's, it serviceable. it's weak. Yeah, but it's not as good. I mean, honestly, I found 2 to be the best gameplay, but the story is just absolutely horrendous. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel I felt the same way about Mass Effect. Like, the gameplay is bad. and Yeah, the first Mass Effect, for sure, definitely. And there are people that, like, swear by Mass Effect 1's gameplay, and I'm like, you're wrong, you just really like the game. And that's okay. But... You're I mean, still can wrong. Somebody really yeah, I'm not gonna. About an opinion, though? I'm definitely yeah, not going for to sure. defend, you know, <laughs> Mass Effect gameplay for sure. I have to turn down all the volume in this game. <laughs> can you There's no use setting my... that isn't. Uh, okay. So anyway, quiet what did we want to talk about this week? I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, so did you guys hear about that hearing over in Europe? With like Epic Games and uh, EA. No, I mean maybe, so, but that was pretty general, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, they yeah, they ahead. had to go to court to talk about like um, loot boxes and if their games are gambling. Okay, yeah, that's been happening a lot lately. Yeah, that, that was like two weeks ago, bro. Yeah, but I mean, like, still, we haven't talked about it. I heard we about talked about like top. surprise mechanics a little bit, I believe. Yeah, that's we may have mentioned awesome, something last episode, but. It's worth talking about. Yeah, it totally is. Uh, anyone who says it's not, um, it, like helping gambling along, is a liar. I mean, it's the same thing with when CS:GO like kind of allowed third-party gambling sites. Didn't they ban all those? Yeah, they did, but not until like significant backlash. Uh -oh. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. Yeah, so wait, what did you want to talk about with this? Just like what your guys' view on it was, like if you thought it was gambling and 
I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is, like, I, I mean, yeah, I th even, I it even if they don't want to classify it as gambling, either way, it's predatory. Like, it, right. even if they want to call it a different thing, it's not good. Like, where's the limit, though? Like, what do you think? Uh, um, I, the limit I, is, think, uh, like, obviously, people call... say, like, oh, you know, World of Warcraft, like, drops on an item. That's gambling, too, but it's like, no, the fuck it isn't, because you actually have to play the game to get the reward. It's not like you just, and yes, you do have a subscription, but it's not like you literally are just paying for randomized drops. So, so uh, what do you what do you feel about um, loot boxes, but that don't affect gameplay? Yeah, when they're cosmetic, I have less of a complaint. If, if you, yeah. if I buy your game and then you have cosmetic loot boxes, I might be a little annoyed, like Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But if it's a free-to-play game and that's how they're funding their servers and stuff like that, yeah, they have to make money somewhere. And if it's cosmetic and it doesn't give anybody an advantage, eh, fuck it. Do it. I don't care. Especially if it's free-to-play, I yeah. think, then yeah, you're like, that's fine. Cosmetic on free-to-play is like 100% fine. I don't yeah. have no problem. But cosmetic on a pay-to-pay game is kind of, eh, I don't like that. Then yeah. Cosmetic on... Or non cosmetic unpaid is I'm not buying your game. Yeah. Like, I will do whatever I can to try to get less people to buy your game. I'm not buying your fucking game. But That's... it's kind of, you know, it's kind of strange that companies are, I mean, like, I get why they are. Like, they just want to make money. But it, like, it makes a worse game, and I actually feel like you lose the good graces of people and that you make less money in the long run. Yeah, but here's. It doesn't matter for some companies. companies. Yeah, all these companies are built on uh, short term profit. So. They know that they can get away. Like, for example, the last Call of Duty, I believe, they, they added loot boxes after the fact. So they got the good reviews, and then they added loot boxes later. And I mean, really, what more can you ask for? Um, so you, a quality you gaming have, experience, I guess. <laughs> so, my whole thing is, I know they think people won't pay more for a game. But honestly, if the game is, like, absolutely excellent, like, let's say the sequel to Dragon Age, just, like, more Inquisition with better graphics, with better story, more cinematics, like, you know, like, I'm literally, get this, I'm paying more for a better product, yeah. I will pay 80 bucks. Like, I'll, I'll drop 100. Like, that's fine, I'll do it. I think the big problem is people... I don't know if the everybody would agree with that. Like, mm -hmm. I, 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 see, I see that, and I kind of agree. But, I mean, like, people think, like, a game is $60, and if it's over $60, it's... Like... People but that's that changed over time, yeah. Yeah, it, it used to be 50 and before that, like 40. it used to be 30. Yeah, or, yeah, 40. 30, yeah. PlayStation right, 1 game, game does that, then I think other games are going to think that they can do it, even if they aren't as good, is what I'm trying to get at. It used and to be, just, basically, when the technology upgraded, the games were more expensive because it took more to produce. Well, well, let, let me let me throw some facts for you real quick, okay? Because that's not true. Didn't it happen between generations for PS one to two? No. Nope. Uh, well, yeah, PS one to two, it went up. Uh, there were still games for PS one that were fifty. Oh. But uh, PS one was actually a huge lowering of price. We died. <laughs> Did we all die? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Oh. So. My game crashed. <laughs> so. PS1 literally had the price of games at the time. Games at the time were getting into the $80, $90 range for the, uh, for the Super Nintendo and, and uh, Genesis. Hmm. Like, no lie, but it makes sense when you think about it because... They had uh, those chips in them. I don't know if you remember that. The chips in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, you know, they had to have the memory modules, obviously, which cost probably like 10 to 15 bucks. But then they had all those... Uh, Posting again. The graphics, VFX chips and stuff. Yeah. And it was kind of like, whoa, that's cray, right? Be connecting. I'm here. I don't know. I, I like. I wouldn't argue. Uh, 
I wouldn't argue against uh, an increase in games since that's where the profit happens. Like, you know, they sell consoles at a loss in general. Maybe the yeah. first price point they might make a little bit, but beyond that, they, they're operating at a loss. Yeah, but the thing is, like, and here's the thing. If a game comes out and it's eighty, a hundred dollars, and it's not like a ninety-five or higher, like on like IGN, obviously, I'm gonna be like, no, like, yeah. this is a pass. You know, like it's gotta be. Imagine if Breath of the Wild were eighty dollars. How many less people do you think would buy that game? Three. Yeah, there would like no one would give a fuck if that game were eighty dollars. No, I said three less people. It's a Zelda yeah. game. So many people would still buy it. Yes, I'm not saying let that uh, people wouldn't still buy it, but there's a lot of people that want it, like parents want it. For sure. Compare it to other games. Yeah, but the, here's the thing: you can put it on sale for sixty. Which one of you hasn't joined yet? I'm joined. I actually I'm, locked. The I'm character. joined, actually. Someone else isn't here. Did Did you lock in a character yet? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I only see one check mark. I mean, I see mine. I'm a green. It's definitely not you, Jonathan. You're not in the game. I am in the game, and you're in the box. old game that. You need to exit out no, of that. No, I saw Brandon move his thing. I saw Brandon move his thing. All right, what character am I on right now? You're, on, you're the on the guy all the way to the right. Okay. Click a character and click like locked. a chef hat. Because mine says locked. Did we lock the same character at the same time? No, I'm locked. Right, on let's the just only see what happens. That you can use. No, mine I'm says on locked too. All the way to the left. All right, fuck you guys. I'm restarting it. <laughs> So, what else did we want to talk about this week? Wow, I wanted to talk about uh, Apex Legends and how it would be a great game to play instead of this. That's great. It's not constructive in any way. Yeah. That's rude. So, I'm back. I locked yeah. in. I can confirm that, that Luke is here. I am here. You have not locked in Commando, though. You've just chosen. No, I had locked in, but when now you joined, it locked me out. That is true. That's not how it works. No, the, that is exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. We're on the same character right now. Look at that. Yeah, we are. Then the thing doesn't make sense. Well, it doesn't have to make sense. In fact, it making sense, it not making sense, is the thing that makes sense. That's great. So, topics for discussion on this you know, podcast that say, we do. That's what I say at work. You know, if that sounds stupid... That's because it is. <laughs> That's usually like the end of when I'm like talking to a guest about something like, ah, oh, well, that sounds stupid. That's because it is. There you go. Exciting. Yeah. How long have you been working where you are now? Uh, uh, just three four years. Days. <laughs> four days. <laughs> Four days. You said three years. Oh yeah, because you you moved shortly after I did. Yeah, so three years at this property, and then uh, two years, two and a half years prior, I just actually hit my five year, so my PTO or whatnot goes like way up. Has it been a full three years? Because I haven't been here for three years. Did you move before me? I thought you moved after. Yeah, I moved after you, so it was like two and a half for both. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I started in August of yeah, that year. Yeah, I started down here in <clears throat> September, so yeah. Yeah. But I can confirm the PTO bump is going to be pretty nice. Yeah, mine too. I definitely get PTO. Well, you get like FTO, and also you can just like leave. Yeah, I mean, I, I work at home a lot and just fucking bail on yeah. office, but I don't get any like I paid time off. Yeah, but my paid time off mm, just went to 240 hours uh, a year, which is pretty good. It'd be gone like the first month of the year for me. Yeah. I don't know the math. Let's see, 240, 80 hours is two weeks, 160 is a month, so that's a month and a half. 40 hours is two weeks? Is that what you just said? No, 80. Oh, okay. <laughs> so obviously 80 times 3 is 240 so that's how 
shakes up. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd find a way. Use it all in the first month to get overtime. <laughs> you can, I mean, here's the thing, I don't get it. Just every month I get it like a crude career paycheck. Yeah. And what's really lame is if I don't work a full 80 hours, they start taking, per per paycheck, mm. and they start taking away how much you accrue. But if you, I work overtime, it's not like they give me more to accrue. Yeah. They just are like, mm, fuck you, you get the max. You should be able to rejoin, by the way. Really? Yeah. With science? Yeah. But I think it's very important that we talk about the cost of games and how Steam Sale and other uh, things like, um, what's the Xbox one called again? Game Pass? Yes. Like Game Pass, like uh, PlayStation Now and all these other ones. So we talk about They all kind of hurt the cost of games because... <clears throat> People are like, ah, oh, I can pay like $15 a month for, you know, like 800 games. And the thing is, everyone knows, the PlayStation Now, like 750 of those games are, I wouldn't say worthless. There are quite a few really fun games on PS Now. Like, yeah, it's well worth it. There's like 60. Opinion. There are 60 games that are like, hell yeah, that most people will look at and be like, I'm interested in playing those. But the overwhelming majority, especially on PlayStation Now, are not. I, I've played a lot of games on PlayStation Now at this point. I had PlayStation Now, PlayStation Now before you. But they add more all the time. That's what I'm saying. Like they... Yeah. But when I played, I mean, like the overwhelming majority, like. Sure. Yes. Played, it's gotten. It it's gotten better. It was 99% garbage. Yes, I remember. And I did. Now, I did the free trial, and then I canceled it because it was worth. Let's say if they doubled the amount of games, which was like 300 at a time, and now it's like 750. Let's say all those games are good, but still half of the games are not good. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like the overwhelming majority of these games are bad. Sure, but all I'm saying is it's well worth it. Like right. you just ignore the bad games. You're, you're not forced to play them. Yeah, obviously. It's the same thing with Humble Bundle. Is. Like, yeah, most of them are bad, but I do get some good ones, and that's why I buy bundles. Like, I don't. But what you're not thinking about is obviously the cost that you're paying per month adds up over time to where like, oh, you know, it's only fifteen dollars, and then oh shit, isn't PlayStation now twenty dollars a month? Uh, it's fifteen. They brought down the price. No, it was always fifteen. Buy yearly. It was no, always when 15. I first, when I first, it was twenty. I paid eighty for a year during a deal, but it's fifteen. <laughs> See that right there? I mean, you're not thinking about it. But no, I don't That's buy like, every bundle. I'm saying I look at a bundle and say, "Am I getting X amount out? Of, like, would I pay this amount for the two good games that I want?" My whole thing is, I can <laughs> play one game. For a thousand hours, right? To me, like I mean, we, not we, every we've game. You've done the math. You've done the math. Not every game, certainly, but there are certain games that, to me, are like well worth the amount of sure. money I spent. I mean, obviously. Where others, um, not the case. But I don't see so, what your point is with like the. Uh, my point is, the if there's a game that you know you want to fucking play. You're gonna you're gonna pay eighty bucks for, it. but if there's just a brand new uh, IP, I don't think they're gonna be able to charge eighty bucks. No, for it. probably not. Like a brand new IP that like never heard of, if they were to just be like, it's eighty bucks, they they would have to use some sort of a uh, in order to increase sales. Not that they have to increase price or their you know return, but They'd have to if they wanted to then increase further after the fact. And then, did we talk about how Blizzard is dead? Did you try to rejoin? Yeah, I did. We, we talked there. about it, but then I don't think we used that episode. Why is Blizzard dead? Blizzard is dead because, they're, if you didn't know, they're making Overwatch 2. Yeah. Which is Left for Dead. Is like it, it's confirmed? literally just left for dead. 
Is that confirmed? With robots. Is that confirmed? Yeah, that's confirmed at this point. Um, one of the rumors I heard is that they're, the Diablo 4 that they're making All right, hold on. is actually modeled after Destiny. What? Is Sounds it like confirmed or is it a rumor? This is a rumor. This is no, no, the Overwatch one. This, oh, yes, that's confirmed. This is a rumor. Okay. How is, how is that Overwatch 2, though, if it's completely different? <clears throat> Overwatch 2 is going to be... Basically, it's still going to have the multiplayer. Because they want to do their story stuff. But they couldn't. But they want to do their story stuff because people ripped onto them. Because, like, why did you create this world and these characters and not, like, have a story at all? You guys suck. Like, it was a big complaint. So they actually did a bunch of story stuff. And one of the things that they're going to do is paid DLC to get more story stuff after the game is released so yeah i'm not about that yeah i'm like well if it was good but here's the thing episodic content as far as i'm concerned does not work like i have not seen one game where that has been successful life is strange has that been successful yeah. i mean yeah. like the first couple yes but i mean the first couple there's only two they've they've gotten well there's life is strange oh there's, there's before strange. the storm but or the storm, okay. which did not do very well. Um, now, don't get me wrong; it's not like it did terrible. But also, but the before the storm has a thing where like it's totally different because there's no fucking powers in before the storm. But all I'm trying to get at is episodic content. At least as far as I know. Eventually, as it continues, um, people are not willing to like get into like episode six and just start fresh. So they started episode one, and. The problem with video games is that objectively, as games come out, as new games come out, there are things that make them objectively better in certain ways. Not to say that like, oh, you know, this game is trash because it's old, but like, I'm sure anyone who just was dropped in, dropped out of the sky and sat down and like, here's Breath of the Wild and here's Ocarina of Time. What is your favorite game? You know, there's a large nostalgia factor, obviously, for video games, because a lot of people I know would prefer Ocarina of Time. However, with that being said, almost everyone is going to pick, if they had never played another video game in their life, they're going to pick Breath of the Wild every time. How can you be so sure? How can I be... Get your head out of your ass, like... I mean, I prefer Breath of the Wild as well, but like... No, no, I'm just saying, like, if you pick, like, a... Alright, pick Doom, right? Let's take Doom. The original Doom, not Doom 2016. But the original Doom. <clears throat> and then have it side-by-side -side with Doom 2016. You can join again now, Luke. Oh, I'll try. Alright, so... My whole thing is, if you actually have people, uh, if you actually have people compare um, these games, having never played them before, having no, like obviously, like I said, people who've played both, I know plenty of people who would pick the original Doom, like, oh, you can do so much with like Doom wads and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, yes, you have a point, they have a point, but at the same time, if you were to have Games objectively get better as time progresses. I mean, games are subjective, though. Yes. But it's kind of like... Uh, think of it like this, okay? I mean, let's say art. Get better, sure. No, no, let's say art, right? Art. Um, and the year is... BC 600. And right now, people are using rocks on rocks so they're rubbing rocks together to create art and they can do a lot and that's pretty cool right they they can make beautiful works of art no one's saying that they're not beautiful but then someone invents paint and they start finger painting and wow that's really cool like oh it looks you know all the colors are vibrant and it looks beautiful now the you know that that rock rubbed on rock art doesn't quite look as good not to say that it isn't still objectively See, I think good you art. Lost the moment you tried to put art into this, because art is oh, like super subjective. No, art is not necessarily subjective. There's things that do 
and the things that you can objectively be like this. So are you saying that art gets better over time? Because I mean, yes, we're still because talking all about, of the we're art still that talking previously about some art no, that has been made because be all of the art that has previously been made is still there. So if you want to be like, yeah, let's live in a, like a frozen wasteland where nothing ever gets better, sure. But look at it this way: like you would say, movies are art, right? Yeah. So why are we doing anything past 480p? Like, why did we ever get like HD TVs to watch movies? Better quality. Better quality, but, but we no listen because we've learned better ingredients, Papa John. <laughs> we've yeah. learned. It we found this. In, no, listen. We we found this out. This new technique to make our old movies better, right? We not, reboot it's not, like, them. So objective. It's almost like a remake, or perhaps there is another word that better defines what these movies are being completely color graded over again and with higher resolution taking the original film <laughs> and upscaling the picture it, it's almost very similar to something that we're doing with video games right now like how many people do you know who are still like you know what I only play like Sega Saturn games like, no. because those are my favorite or like PlayStation games now don't get me wrong there are people who play SNES games like no doubt right but at the same time 2d games don't necessarily need those specifically those 2d games don't necessarily need remasters but 3d games especially like turn of the century 3d games are fucking rough and they benefit vastly from having uh upgraded visual I mean I don't disagree with that but I don't think that you can objectively you can say like objectively that one game is better than another still I mean you you can kind of say that yes certain things are objectively better you can't say like all right as a whole objectively this is better necessarily but you you kind of can What's the best game I mean, of all time? Best game of all time? I really like Portal. Portal 2. Portal 2's uh, got a good story. Uh, there's a lot of voice acting, right? Yeah. So, how would you feel um, if it didn't have any voice acting? Because uh, at the time, the they didn't game. have the ability to voice act yeah. because they didn't have the sound chips. Just because... That's what ends up being my favorite game. Doesn't mean that that's going to be the favorite game of somebody else. They might say no. I know. Have any but voice all of a sudden, if you don't have voice acting in that game, you don't have the wonderful voice actor who plays as the uh, antagonist, and but therefore it is now did. less of a game, right? But objectively, in what's the best so game of all time? So. <laughs> So that's the thing. But like, by that logic, that means the, the newest game is the best yeah. of all time. Not which... necessarily. But eventually, a new game will come out that will be objectively better than whatever your favorite game is right now. I don't In, think that given that's enough true. time, that is certain. I don't think that that's true at all. I think it is, 100%. You think objectively, 100%, that Portal 2 will always be your favorite game? Subjectively? No. no. So objectively, there will be a better game that comes out what? eventually. I don't know if that's how that works to you. I think that is how it works. If you're some not willing to say this game, is the game I will people, always some love. Some people may die and their favorite game is still Super Mario. No, it's what because is? they're fucking dead. They don't have an opinion. They're no longer able to have an opinion I'm because seeing, like, they're dead. I'm saying people today like, still feel that way. And like say they die. Like I don't know. You know what I mean? No, because they're dead. They, their opinion doesn't matter. In fact, they don't have an opinion anymore. That's kind of how that works when you die. I, yeah, I know. I get that. Just saying, like, I don't know. You're saying that just because my opinion may change, that means that it, it's going to. But that's not how that works. No, I've definitely. Here's the thing. Your opinion most likely will change given enough time. And if it doesn't, which like, if, is an if objective my, fact. What if my favorite game never ends up? Game. What if you what if you end up never growing as a person? 
Is that what, what you're saying? Why are you changing what this is about? I mean, that, I've that had the same favorite game for the last, like, 10 years. And that's all I'm trying to Which say. Like... Or maybe longer than that. Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's a pretty old game. That used to be my favorite game at one point. But trying to go back and play it, it's rough. I disagree. I do it all the time. You, you learn you learn things and you're like, mm, man, that, that I do it crazy. all the time. Like, oof, oof. Actually, the second one has worse instances of bad yeah, voice it acting. It does. They really gave it their all on that first one. They did. Well, they changed a bunch of actors in the second one. But that, yeah, but that's not to say that all of a sudden if there's a sequel to a game that that's somehow better, like, guaranteed. That's kind of what I'm not you're saying. Though. No, it's not. I'm saying that eventually, given enough time, a game will come along that is objectively better. You can have your opinion, but there is a difference between objective fact. There's no game that you will ever be objectively better word, than Knack 2. The word better, yeah. Knack uh, 2, baby. No, there's, there's no way that you can objectively have something better. What? Yeah, there is. In terms of, yeah, in there terms is. Of Are you an idiot? Like, <laughs> in terms of quality. Yes, there is. Hold there on. is definitely a way. There is, okay, but you know what I'm, I'm saying with Big like, Rig? Like, God of like War 2018 so... is objectively better than Big Rig Truckers Off-Road. I don't think that that's true. I don't think you could Have say you that. played no, Big Rig Truckers Off-Road? <laughs> <laughs> But I can imagine how shitty it could be. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. You can actually imagine <laughs> it. It's really like bad. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get is there are like qualifiers. Like it, imagine two games. They're exactly the same, right? Now Neither one, is objectively better. Now one. Hold on. You just said they're exactly the same. <laughs> they're exactly the same, except one takes two hours to load each new zone's level, etc. And one only takes 15 seconds. Which one is objectively better? They're both almost the same, except for that one single difference. Are games made like that, though? Yeah, At ports time, on yes, consoles. There were, there, <laughs> no, there were legitimate games uh, for PC that were mainly on a console that was only for uh, the UK. What, what is that? Is that X Spectrum? And I think the Commodore 64 also had a cassette tape memory. And, you know, that can subjectively definitely be someone's favorite game. But I think most people, and this is what kind of makes it objective, would be like, this is shit. That's, <laughs> that's not true at all. Yes, it is. Just because more people like it doesn't make it better in any mm, objective stance. It just mm, it makes it objectively kind of more like... That's actually not. That's that, that's an ad populum fallacy there, bud. No, it's it's not. You don't know what an ad hominem policy is. It's ad populum. Ad hominem is a different one. I mean, listen. That's what I'm trying to get at. Objective fact. <clears throat> you can't measure it. We've proven that you can measure it. I'm not saying that there is an objective fact. I'm saying you can't objectively say one game is better than another. But you can but in I don't... multiple different ways. You can say, "Oh, you this can, game." You can you can take one load. you can take one specific part of it. You can take one specific becomes... part of it, and then you can look at the whole. You could also join the lobby and pick a character. My game crashed. Take this out. My game crashed. But you can. Because there are individual things that you can look at and be like, wow, this is terrible. And as time progresses, people come up with new ways to, let's say, uh, Dead Space, right? Like, it has an innovative way of showing your health bar, right? Sure. So, let's say Dead Space. Fucking you fuck. Just like Dead Space. I'm locked in. A game just like Dead Space, except... It just has a fucking health bar in the corner. And a bunch of UI elements. Maybe Clippy is there. Like, no one would be like, objectively, I like the Clippy uh, UI better. Some people you like Clippy. You don't know that. You don't know that that is true at all. Somebody might just be some fucking weirdo and objectively like it more. You, you do realize that's not objective. I meant subjective. <laughs> yeah, I said objective. 
Because but, subjective is your opinion. Objective is like measurably better. No, but there, like, so there's no way to say. Measurably better. You can't say Clippy being there makes it objectively worse. Because like, while I may that's feel I I may that feel that the way. Point that I've been trying to make. I'm, yeah, but like, let, let's say the one thing that game was so praised about. Like, Zelda's is a perfect example for this. It. People love Zelda. I hate all of the companion characters in Zelda, and I would like the game a lot better if they were all gone. But a lot of people don't agree with me. I mean, that's kind of what they did in Breath of the Wild, so... Yeah, and it was great. <laughs> yeah, it was objectively better, <laughs> I can assure you. You can't say that, though, because he literally just said that some people like the companion Listen! Characters. Listen! <laughs> all of some them. Some people like Navi. All of them. Fee, Navi... Tail and Tattle, I, I liked v. fucking I liked v. I never Enzo, listen. Midna, they're all garbage and I hate Stop. them all. Wait, listen. Midna? Midna's I hate all of them. They're I did not misspeak. <laughs> I hate all of them. Yeah, I kind of agree. They're all terrible and should die. However, we're talking about objectively. Objectively, I hate them all. Objectively. No, 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 like, objectively. <laughs> yes, objectively, I hate them all. You can tell. You can say, like, this is worse. Now, subjectively, you can like whatever you like, but there is an objective way to measure anything. To a degree. Mm. Arousal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that is one way. It's pretty objective. Yeah, like, if you can, and this is actually something that Steam, Valve, tried to do. Uh, like measured arousal? To, yep. Put, like, heart rate sensors on uh, controllers. They have the uh, the patent for that, actually. And then I think um, Nintendo has a patent similar to that, but for, like, wearables. Specifically to measure arousal, to measure heart rate, uh, to measure other things. Um, I'm not like sure it was specifically it for arousal, but that's a hard sell to be like, this Christmas, parents, buy your kids this device so we can see how it aroused is. they are. <laughs> but here's the thing, you don't necessarily have to have everyone uh, wearing it. You could probably get away with a sample size of like 10,000. So you could pay people to play your game, not even a lot of money, like not as like a tester, but you literally just come play our game, wear this thing, and we'll give you uh, $1 for every level you complete. And then, like, just put completely different games in. Stream, you could stream it, too. So you wouldn't have to have them download. And that way you control every end of the game. And you can control uh, eliminating, you know... Um... The weak. But trust me, there, there are definitely ways that you can ob get an objectively... You can get objective data points that may... Yes. Yeah, but you can't say a game is objectively better. That's what I. That's literally the only point I've been making. Hmm, I disagree. And that's fine. <sighs> I oh. think you can. You can have. But like I said, I think you can definitely also have objectively better art. But subjectively, it can be whatever your favorite art is. Me too. So what if somebody likes a quote-unquote objectively better art more than a objectively worse art? That'd be pretty normal. Subjective. Generally people like yeah. the better one. Yeah. Did you mean the opposite of that? He's, he's no, just no, trying to say that. like, hi, you're talking about ad populum, even though he led into it. Which not is just as bad. Yes, I'm it is. Literally just as bad. I'm literally asking you. What if that is? What if that happens? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. That's normal. What? That is not objective. If somebody, if someone likes the objectively better. If somebody thing. likes the objectively worse one. That's not what you said. Yeah, that's not what you said. That's yeah. what I meant. That's if why I asked if you meant the opposite, and you said no. I said what I meant. <laughs> okay. So if somebody likes the objectively worse one more. Okay. Then. Okay. Then you call those people wrong. Then how is that? Yeah, you call them wrong. Objective? People do it on the internet all the time. <laughs> I said. I really think that no, because if you like subjective exists for a reason. no, because if you trying to say the same if thing. you right now were like Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game, I'd be like that's okay. You're wrong, right, that's but okay. Yeah, yeah. But how could that's you true. Tell 
Because Majora's Mask isn't that good. Something. Yeah, it's just. Uh, listen, a lot of it has to do with wherever you were at a certain point in your life. Like, I'm sure even Brendan will agree. Um, for like Kingdom Hearts, if he had never been introduced to Kingdom Hearts and he played Kingdom Hearts for the first time at his current age, would it hit the same? Um, on some level, it probably wouldn't be my favorite game. Uh, I, I would, I think I would still really like it, and I would still play it quite yeah, a bit. I think you would still like it. But I, I don't, I don't think it would be my favorite game. Probably not. No, because there's, like, there's a thing to be said about games being dated, like. And if there's a... This is what I'm trying to... I mean, I, I still think it plays really well, but it is like a pretty basic combat system. If there is something to be said about things being dated, like games or art of any kind, like, oh, this is dated, right? Then I think you can make a good point in saying that there is some objective reasoning going on when you're classifying a game. That's all I'm saying. I, I don't you don't, you don't think some games like opinion. some games do exist outside that though. Like Tetris. Yeah. What about Tetris? It's the it's just it's old, but it's never dated. Um, not true. I mean, have you played the original Game Boy release of Tetris, or did yeah. you play like Tetris ninety nine? Or I've, I've played play Tetris, like many uh, Tetris. Puyo Puyo Tetris. I haven't played play, uh, Super Tetris on the. Super Nintendo, because I think definitely uh, playing Game Boy Tetris today is dated. No. I think if you, yes. When's the last time you played it? Why don't you play that on an like emulator? Five Why years you ago. Like a different version of Tetris instead. Because there are definitely quality of life improvements on newer versions of Tetris. Yeah, who needs Not saying that every version of Tetris is So the only quality of life I can think of is being able to stash stuff. Uh, being able to see that, and that's for colors. cowards and weak people, and also being to actually, actually be able to see um, uh, what color a block is. Where in the original release, they were like different shapes within shapes, which I didn't personally like. Um, one more thing that's objectively better about newer versions of Tetris, which is the actual. Creator gets money for it, as opposed to Nintendo. Yeah, but I don't care about him. Legally have. <laughs> True, fair <laughs> enough. But I'm just saying, like, he actually gets cut of Tetris stuff. The guy who actually made it, because he's from the Soviet Union. Interesting story. You should really uh, read up on that. But I think you can definitely have a, you know, subjective opinion, but still be able to be like, objectively, yes, this. Like, what was the best console of, like, the Saturn, PS1, N64 generation? PS1. Objectively, yes. Absolutely. Me, personally, I like the N64. The best in what regard? Uh, that's subjectively, but objectively, yes. 100% it's the PS1. I said, uh, uh, objectively in what regard? objectively in what like, regard you said um, best, but console what regard? console sales price um overall um game library well yeah absolutely raw power no not true <laughs> i'm pretty sure saturn actually wins in the overall power category but it raw might. power doesn't mean shit i have a saturn you know how many processors are on the saturn board four eight <laughs> it is a fucking over-engineered nightmare. Hey, I learned how to do extra stuff. That's... But yeah, the, the N64 has, like, the, like, really sort of titanic games, but in terms of, like, overall library, it's definitely PS1. Yeah, there's no debating. Like, anyone who debates that is wrong. But you can have your own subjective opinion where it's like, all right, well, one of my favorite games of all time is Mario Brothers 64. Yeah, Jonathan yeah. really likes Twilight Princess, and I just let him keep on going like that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> even though that is, like, the worst Zelda game I've ever played, that's your opinion. I mean, Jonathan. there's worse out there. There are. <laughs> I mean, uh, by Nintendo? The models are the, models are the best. Yeah, I mean, like, Skyward is pretty mediocre. For the model? Like, when I envision Link, that's how I envision Link. But yeah, I honestly, I think play. of the Twilight Princess models as well. Yeah. They're really yeah, good in Twilight. I, I think 
however, I would rather play Skyward Sword over Twilight Princess. I hate Fee a lot. I never had a problem with Fee. She's garbage. I, but like, I know why people had a problem with her, but that never happened to me. Like, she didn't pop out of the sword like- She asked me a question and said, like, she asked, do you remember how to do this thing? And I said yes, and then she explained how to do it anyway. I was enraged. When was that? Like, I don't fucking know. During my Skyward Sword playthrough. Wow. I just didn't have any bad experiences like that. They're all garbage. All the helpers are yeah, trash. But you also, again, you have to think about, like, where were you at when you played set game? Like, probably his living had, room. Like, it usually, a lot of people. People's first Zelda is their favorite Zelda. If they really like Zelda, of course. If they don't like Zelda as a series, then no, that's not true. That's but, I don't know. That's not true. My first Zelda wasn't my favorite. What's your first Zelda? Um, my first Zelda was. Uh, it was for like 3ds or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that. I don't think that counts. It was like four. No. What was it? It was a, like a really old one, 2D. It's not my favorite. My favorite is either Ocarina or Link's Awakening. Really not um. Uh, really not a bot dub guy. You don't like Wind Waker? I really. I, I don't like Toon Link. Oh what? I yeah, think he looks stupid I, as fuck. He's like the I, only I one that has any looks like shit, but I do think the gameplay is solid. I haven't played any of the Toon Link games because I hate the way he looks. I'm going through all the Zelda I games like now. The way he looks, to be honest. Going through all the Zelda games now, so eventually I will be forced to play them. But, I mean, like, when you get around to it, having not played it when it was hot, you know, I don't think it's going to ever become... Even if you, like, have a mind-blowing experience with it, and you're like, wow, there's way better... I don't think it's ever going to be my favorite, because I no. hate the way he fucking looks. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I don't like the way Toon Zelda looks. I don't like the way Toon Ganon looks. I don't like the way the Toons look. I don't like What it. about Toontown? Could that be objectively the best game ever made? Sure, why not? No, it can't. It's pretty it can't good. Be the objectively best game ever made because it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Club Penguin is still the best in my heart. Yeah, subjectively. But objectively, no. Nah, Rest in Club Penguin. I think if anyone made the argument that, like, one of those garbage ass, like, MMOs, like, yes, that was the best game. Neopets. It's like, pretty good. Neopets, did you know that Neopets is like owned by Scientologists now? Yeah. It's like, I read about that and I was like, the fuck. But they kept it alive, so for that we can thank them. Yeah, and like the murder of like innocent women. There's no proof that they were murdered, they just went missing and never oh, showed up again. Yeah, they did. <laughs> They went missing and then showed up with four bullet wounds and were declared uh, suicide. Yeah, you know, you really time. wanted to die. <laughs> Just missed like the first three, four times. <laughs> That's literally the excuse they used in like one of the fucking reports. Like, yeah, there's four. What did what did they say? Like three. Um, unimportant, or they used another term for unimportant, like unimportant. Uh, Gunshot wounds to the to the waist, and one to the head. That was suicide. <laughs> Shit. That's right, how you man. know they crazy as fuck. I hit the button. Did you turn down the difficulty? Are you a coward? You did. It's on very easy. No, it's on. Very it easy. always starts on. There's so there's three difficulties in this game. Two, three. Three. There's three. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know how to play this game, but now I kind of understand that I have four abilities. I was, the first like couple games, I was only using one. So, anything else we want to talk about? This has been a weird episode. Like, very unstructured. Well, aren't they off? Yeah, that's true. This one's been more unstructured, however. So yeah, was yeah, there, was there anything else? I just want you all to know that you're wrong. That's fine. You can think that I'm wrong. 
No, no, I didn't say that. I said I just want you all to know that you're... You can believe whatever comforts you. I mean, that's subjective. I want you to believe that you're not. This is oh, oh. my world. I just let you live in it. Well, someone's having a manic episode. So what do you think of the guy who, uh, who, uh, you know, tragically jumped off a bridge. What bridge? Uh, I forget it. That's I a got... weird response to that question. <laughs> what bridge? That's, <laughs> that's like an autistic response. Like, <sighs> like what, what? I mean, like, I mean, like, why is this? All right, I'm going to sound really callous to you, but like, of course, it's terrible when anybody jumps off a bridge. He was a he was a video game. No, he was a video game. Uh, it's terrible when anybody jumps off a bridge. What if? Hitler jumped off a bridge. Ah. Uh, Alright. There, I guess. <laughs> but, anyway, um... He's talking about, uh... He did a lot of video game content on... Etika, was that his name? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was... I don't know if you heard about that. I was sad. I liked, uh, I liked Etika. I watched his vids. Cause I'm in... I like Super Smash, so... Well, what's fucked up is that... My understanding is that he was on... Uh, someone, I won't even name him, but he was on, like, their podcast, and basically, he was telling him that, like, you know, his mental health wasn't real, like, you don't actually have anything wrong with you, mental illness is fake. And, like, you what do you that. do now that literally, like, you're, you know, someone who you literally had on your show killed themselves while you were telling, like, who told you this? Like, you, you're really like, yeah, that's... That's what I believe. It's still true. Who said that? I said I wasn't going to say. Oh. But they're like big on YouTube and they're kind of an asshole. Keemstar. Yeah. Oh. Was it actually Keemstar? Yeah. Trash. But like, I don't understand. I mean, it, I guess just... It goes to show you, like, the people who watch these, like, these channels, they, they have, like, people who say, like, yeah, I watch them all the time. Like, I know that person is probably objectively a bad person. Like... What kind of person are they subjectively? <laughs> I don't know. It's whatever they think they are, which is probably, they probably are very highly, uh... They probably think highly of themselves, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's my own personal opinion. Wasn't that a George Carlin skit where he goes like, who who would have thunk murderers, uh, psychopaths, and, and rapists all think very highly of themselves? I don't know. It doesn't really matter what yeah. he thinks, though. He's dead. That's true. But it does matter because he recorded it. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> well, if people like still enjoy something that someone else created, then yeah. So our opinions are all valid and timeless because we're recording them. Exactly, but also subject to like intense scrutiny if someone finds these at, like ten years later and it turns out like, let's say we're like, oh yeah, this is gonna be the best thing ever, and then it turns out to be shit. I've never stood by this podcast. <laughs> I want you all to know <laughs> that I'm just talking out my ass. I yeah. I don't share this podcast. The fact that Jonathan showed it to his friends is mind-boggling. I didn't show it to my friends. I showed it to one friend because he was wondering why. And I then he showed it to out. all his friends. No, he didn't. Your friends. I told him that. <laughs> he watched it and he was like, "God, no one needs to see this." You're absolutely right. Because he's a good friend. <laughs> his opinion was, "I liked that I could tell you guys apart." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was his that feedback. Is, that is a great. Yeah. That's great. I believe. My goodness. I forgot I told you guys about that. That's really funny. <laughs> that's the that's apparently the most noteworthy thing about our podcast. I've ever heard you can tell us apart. <laughs> Actually, back when uh when it was just me and Luke doing it, I had a friend Nick who did our logo, and he used to listen to it and enjoyed it for whatever reason. So you oh, yeah. showed your friend too. No, I I commissioned him to do the logo, and it was hard to explain getting a logo without saying what it was. Otherwise, I would have never told him. 
He's like, yeah, it reminds me of, uh, like, my two idiot, uh, like, nephews. Oh, shit. I don't know. Fuck you. If I just smash all the buttons, do I do good? <laughs> no, I died. I tried my best, though. I tried to smash the buttons the best I could. But, uh... Yeah, uh, Ryzen 3000 comes out in five days, and it's gonna be the shit. I'm excited for you. Not I'm really, excited. I don't care. Well, you can be excited for me. No. You don't have to be excited for I that. I could be excited for you, I'm not. I'm very excited. Like, I can link you benchmarks right now, I'm pretty excited. Well, I care about those. I'm always looking like, I'll be like, oh, I wonder if any new ones showed up, and they do, and I'm like, oh shit, because obviously, they're literally in the, uh... damn, who keeps making the, the, the clicking noises? It's probably me. It's an Sorry. item. What, what is that? No, it's, it's, it's my item. When I drop to low health, time stops, and then it ticks while things are frozen. Oh, you said ticking. I thought you said clicking. <laughs> He did say clicking, but I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it's still kind of a click, in a way. But anyway, the Ryzen 7 3700X is sandwiched between a $2,000 product and a $3,800 product on, uh, on CPUbenchmark.net, which is Passmark. Which doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be as good as where it is right now, but it does mean that it's going to be in that fall part, which is pretty fucking exciting. It excites me. It arouses me. No, it arouses me. Objectively, it arouses me. It's objectively arousing. Like, it objectively arouses me, and maybe the reasons why I'm aroused are subjective, but objectively, I'm still being aroused. That's how that works. This podcast was a mistake. <laughs> Anime was a mistake. What do you think about that? Depends on the anime, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Jonathan, have you ever watched <laughs> Your Name? Ever watched what? Your Name. Watched my name? It's, a, it's an anime movie. Jonathan is a name? That everyone went nuts about. Oh? My roommate, it's my roommates went to see it in theaters and I did not go see it because I did not care. Is it good? It's really good. I really recommend it. Do you have, uh, see it. Do you have a Prime account or do you uh, have someone's Prime account? I've got Prime. Yeah, it's on, it's on Amazon Prime, I think. Wait, maybe it costs money on it. I don't know. You can get it for like you can go to I think it's on Funimation and you can do like a oh, I have a, I have a Funimation too. Well, you I do? have someone's Funimation. So you're a oh, you have someone's Funimation. You're... Yeah, I think it's on there. In fact, I'm almost positive it's on there because they are the ones who made it, but or at least localized it, I guess is the correct term. Um, but it's really good. You should watch it. Anyway, that's that's. I think that's where I want to end it. I think we're good. How long is that? How long I don't is think that? you're in control of who ends it. I think I have all the power here. You have no power here. You have no power. Here. Uh, it's only been 59 minutes. Could you be a little less impatient? Wow. Can't even get a full hour. So anyway, well, there's not a lot of content to be honest. Is there? So, <laughs> <laughs> there, there has been. Uh, I think like the the few E three episodes, there definitely was. Some kind they were bad. We just glossed over. Really they were bad. Yeah, you're right. So then, have you ever liked an episode, then, Brendan? I don't watch this podcast. Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend anyone watch this podcast. <laughs> why do we make? Why do we make this podcast? Why not? Yeah, fair enough. Maybe one day. So, later. I don't. I mean, I thought. Like, Encountered and Counter-Attack were alright. 
Yeah, we're okay. If we if we put more effort, I think is that that just that sums it up. We put more effort. Into so here's the thing. Effort sucks. The effort falls on my shoulders, and I refuse. I like I said, I'll do like every other one uh, once I get this new process. Well, I mean, editing, See, but that also like worries me because then you're gonna do some garbage shit. But do you realize I'm more skilled at editing? Yeah, but you're gonna do some garbage shit. Like what? I don't know. That's what's terrifying. Give me ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I've known I've known you too long to trust you. You're a fool. No, I'd be a fool if I trusted you. No, that's not true. It is. No. It's not true. You see. This is an old adage, and it's very true. Um, I forgot. But anyway, let me let me just make up what the proper thing is. Um, to assume everything is correct is. Uh, I'm just gonna end the podcast here before he finishes that thought. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. No, no, no. But seriously.